Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, just general exponential functions, and this is part of the series on uh, exponential functions as logarithmics, logarithmic functions. Uh, basically, in this case, we're going to look at just general exponential functions, and not just e to the x. So now we'll look at uh, this this statement right here. If a is greater than zero and r is any rational number, once again, rational number just Anything could be written uh, as like let's say two over three, or let's say uh, yeah one or or two. Anything that could be basically um, yeah written as a fraction of real numbers like this, with the bottom can't be zero, and it's just rational there. And and then by the laws that I covered in my earlier videos, and the the laws that I covered are basically the first one is um was basically e to the ln x equals to x. And again, this is before x is greater than zero because ln right here, uh, everything inside ln is positive, so x has to be greater than zero. You can see the see these uh, proof of this all in the video links uh, in the description below. And the second law that I covered or that I'll use in this uh, case is basically when you have e to the x, and x is just any real number, and then r here, this is rational number. Then then you can put this inside e to the r x right here and, and in fact I'll show uh, now I'll suggest now that this r could actually be any real number and also prove later that it is in fact that way so if we write this now if we write a general one instead of e to the r or e to the x we'll look at uh, a to the r right here so a to the rational number this equals to yeah this equals to using this method right here this is using for all, all real numbers greater than uh, zero right here this is equal to basically, um, yeah, so we'll replace this a with x right here. So we'll write it as e to the ln, and now this is a, so a, and then to the power of r. So this is the a, we put this, uh, we use the x as a instead. And so then it becomes this one over here, and then using the second law right here, we could put the r in front, so it could be just e to the ln. Yeah, r ln a right here. And now because we're dealing with basically this one's all real numbers, this rational number, this is just r. So we could even define, we could just assume that uh, this would be true for all real numbers. Because once again, we're combining two laws that have this one's all real numbers. Well, this one's for greater than zero. So then we could basically uh, assume that it's true for everything and just define. Yeah, or if I uh, write it a bit better, because we combine these two laws, one being for all real numbers greater than zero, Another being for, for uh, rational numbers, we can therefore define, and later uh, we'll prove that it is all true, but for all real numbers, even for irrational numbers. So basically, we're suggesting, suggesting that this is true for any numbers, and in this case, we'll use this r replace it by x. So we can write a to the x equals 2 e to the x ln a right here. So we've just defined it for all real numbers instead of just rational numbers. And again, uh, irrational numbers could be anything like square root two, et cetera, so for example, or example right here, I'll write example a, actually not a, we'll just replace a with two. So two to the uh, square root, let's say three, this equals two uh, e to the square root three times ln two. And now this one equals to basically or roughly equals to, let's put a roughly sign. Yeah, here, I'll just write it better over here. Is, is this uh, roughly equal to e to the 1.20? And then this plug is in the calculator as well. You get roughly 3.32. Yeah, and now this function a to the x is called the exponential function with base a, or just a general exponential function. And also notice that a to the x is positive because e to the power of x is positive, like I showed in my earlier video. And again, ln a is always positive uh, right here as well. And also, uh, what this definition allows us to do is extend another law that I already showed in my earlier video, which was basically yeah, ln a r equals to r ln a, where r again is rational number. And you can see the video link again in the description below for proof of this. And I'll, uh, then basically, if we were to use the definition, well, we can write ln a x for x is all real numbers. Then this just equals to now we plug in this definition with e to the x ln a. So we'll have ln of e to the x ln a. And then I showed my earlier video the uh, when you use logarithmic laws. 
this ln and then this e cancels out and this brings it down. This just equals to x ln a right there or basically extending this this law right here for rational numbers for all real numbers right here a to the x equals to x ln a and basically we'll get that. Yeah and now with this definition the general laws of exponents follow from our definition together with the law of exponents for e to the x which I covered in my earlier video as well and basically we get uh, these four laws of x and y are real numbers and a is greater than zero then we have a to the x plus y equals to the a x a y and a to the x minus y is a x divided by a to the y and then, and then basically a x y you can put it inside the bracket and if you have a b to the power of x then it's just going to be a x times b to the power of x and I will basically prove these in later videos so stay tuned for that so anyways that is all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this video and like always you can download these exact notes from these links uh, as well uh, basically these links are also in the video description below and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.